so far with both sides coming to play. Denver leading by four. Going out the wings, it's Foy and Gallinari. Wilson Chandler out there with Hickson, and it's Moutier in at the one spot. That's the group on the four for Denver. And that one's good. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. To the paint, Gasol kicks to Heinrich. To the left side wing, back to Brooks. Down low. Now the feed to Miritic. Here's Heinrich. Denver grabs the miss. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Nice shot by four. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. For three, Dunleavy. Chandler with the rebound. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. And it's Gallinari missing. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Denver calls timeout. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard Mike Malone as he addressed his team. He told the players, let's put our foot on them and keep them down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away from any silly fouls. All right, Doris, thanks. On its way from Rose for two. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. Ten points for Rose. And they'll be counting on even more points from him. That's essential if they're going to pull this game out. Moutier kicks to Fareed. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Some outstanding numbers in this one for Fareed. He has 12 points and four assists as well. This game is all about him right now. Full domination mode, guys. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Denver. Well, I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Yeah, but don't forget about their points in the paint because those have been big. He hits the second from the line. Bulls trail by six. Here's Noah. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. Nuggets ball. Nuggets have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Boudier dishes to Fareed. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's seven of ten from the field. And now both teams really in a groove. This game already, um, guys, was high scoring, but they've really amped and ramped it up to another level down the stretch. A second chance effort, Gasol. Chandler with the rebound. Chandler's got three rebounds now in this one. Over in the corner, four. And a miss there on the triple. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And he gets it to go. And their solid play in the paint continues, guys. And that's been their focus, it seems, throughout the game. I like the discipline that they've showed in terms of creating those opportunities on the inside. And there's the foul. It goes on Jimmy Butler. And that'll be his third foul so far. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. There's Foy with the three. That's another one for him. His fifth in just seven shots. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. Nice game. Great performance by Kenneth Fareed. He's on five. They needed to put their heads together to figure out how to get the ball out of his hand. Mike Dunleavy, he's checked in for Miritic. And so here is Chicago. Nine-point game. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Over in the corner, Rose. 11 feet away. That's good from Gasol on the assist by Rose. 
Eight points for Paul Gasol. He can be a matchup nightmare if he can get it in the paint. Again, Chicago. And how about the execution, really, when it matters most? He knew he had the height advantage and just got the job done. No need to pass in that situation. And Gasol comes to help. Here's Foy, kicks it to Fareed, and Butler sends it back. All alone. Good on that shot, and with that, the Nugget lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Dunleavy. Make it 10 of their last 12 points coming off assists. You have to love the ball move. Denver calls timeout. They're in front by three. 137 left to play in the final quarter. Spacing, fellas. Spacing. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Foy. Great defense that time from Noah. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. The Nuggets leading by three. Here's Moutier. Can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Gasol. Now the pass to Dunleavy. Here's Rose. And Randy Foy gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off the six. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. He ties it up. A great job to get the bucket and to get to the line. When the game's on the line, you want your guys attacking like he did there. Denver calls timeout. Seven left in the game. Pass to Fareed. Shot from the wing. And that one comes up a bit short. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 15 to 6 run. Gasol kicks to Rose. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rose. Fifty seconds left in the fourth. Now here's Moutier. He's covered by Rhodes. Moutier best to Fareed. Buries it. They don't get any bigger than that basket. They needed it, Greg, and he gave it to them. It's stolen by Foy. Here's Moutier. No good. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Still a chance here, but they need to score. I really agree, but it has to happen on every possession. They need points every trip. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. Denver calls timeout. now. Screen by Fareed. Moody in it. Here's the four. On deep. Oh, and he had a chance to win it right there, but couldn't get it to fall. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. From the Pepsi Center in downtown Denver, we're back in a moment. And I can't.
quit.